friends and fellow cinephiles. Today we're going to dive deep into the complex and fascinating character study of J. Robert Oppenheimer that Christopher Nolan presents in his latest film, Oppenheimer. Few historical figures embody both great genius and deep inner turmoil like Oppenheimer, the American theoretical physicist who led the Los Alamos laboratory and oversaw the creation of the world's first atomic bombs during World War II, often called the father of the atomic bomb. Oppenheimer was both celebrated as a scientific pioneer and condemned as a destroyer of worlds. Nolan takes us on an intimate journey into Oppenheimer's brilliant but tortured mind, peeling back the layers of a man who fundamentally transformed the course of human history. It's an epic character study about the agony of moral responsibility on a global scale. So get ready for a sweeping saga about the person behind the persona, a story of knowledge and power, conscience and consequence. Let's dive in. 1. Cracking the character of Oppenheimer Right from the opening frames, Nolan puts us directly into Oppenheimer's shifting psyche, often using extreme close-ups of his haunted, chain-smoking face and disorienting, non-linear editing to place us inside his restless mind. Killian Murphy is captivating as the troubled genius, portraying him as an endlessly complex figure, zealous and arrogant about his work yet privately plagued by moral doubts. We see his inner brilliance and demons wrestle on Murphy's expressive face. Nolan takes a risky approach, instead of following a standard biopic formula. He creates a quasi-surreal tone poem, fracturing the story's chronology to underscore Oppenheimer's swirling emotions and memories. Ethical agonies over unleashing Armageddon, a critical theme is Oppenheimer's deep ethical ambivalence about being the architect of such destructive power. Although convinced the bomb was necessary to defeat the Nazis, he becomes racked with guilt over the horrific human costs of nuclear warfare as the mushroom clouds rise over Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Through flashbacks, dream sequences, and rich dialogue, Nolan takes us into the heart of Oppenheimer's anguish about unleashing the atomic demons onto the world. We feel the full weight of his conscience as he witnesses the terrifying consequences of his creation. 3. Faustian Bargains and Moral Compromises Nolan creates a modern Faustian tragedy, Oppenheimer trades moral integrity for knowledge and power, only to find himself tortured by the deal he's made. We see how Oppenheimer willingly compromises his ethics time and again for the sake of scientific progress, ignoring signs that his research could unleash monumental horrors. He partners with the vile General Groves to obtain funding, fully aware of the militaristic ends his research could serve. He lies to colleagues and superiors when confronted about communists in his laboratory. At every turn, he subsumes moral concerns to the supreme goal of achieving the impossible, splitting the atom. His ambition blinds him until he can no longer avoid the death and destruction he's responsible for. Only too late does Oppenheimer realize the true cost of his Faustian bargain. 4. The dual nature of knowledge and power. Nolan vividly dramatizes how Oppenheimer's gifts and vision transform human capability, but not necessarily for the betterment of mankind. Like fire itself, knowledge can either sustain or destroy us, depending on how we wield it. We watch Oppenheimer's Promethean quest for nuclear knowledge build to a breathtaking crescendo in the stunning atomic bomb test scene, a tour de force of sound and fury that awes with its raw power. But this godlike display soon gives way to horror as the same might annihilates thousands in Japan. Like Oppenheimer, we realize that unlocking nature's secrets does not always lead to positive ends when man's greed and fear take hold. Knowledge without wisdom is its own kind of curse. 5. The dangers of pride and arrogance Hitler's dead. It's true. Nolan also shows how Oppenheimer's arrogance blinds him to his own faults and the possibility of failure. Consumed by the grandeur of his atomic theories, he refuses to heed the warnings of his loved ones like Kitty, who sees how the bomb project is twisting his soul. But so convinced is he of his own righteousness, Oppenheimer ignores every plea to stop before it's too late, ultimately destroying himself in the process. Nolan seems to suggest that intellectual hubris is its own kind of dangerous folly, causing us to overreach and lose sight of our humanity. Great achievements often require humility as much as genius. 6. The Corrupting Influence of Power 
as he gains global fame, we see Oppenheimer grow corrupted by the influence and privileges his newfound power grants him. Seduced by money, connections, and glory, he turns on former colleagues, lies to the government and exaggerates enemy threats, all to maintain his exalted position directing them. Weapons lab drunk on authority, his moral compass spins out of control. Nolan paints a Shakespearean portrait of a leader undone by the temptations of power. Surrounded by flattering generals and fawning politicians, Oppenheimer becomes disconnected from everyday people and loses his way. 7. The tragedy of idealism ruined by compromises. Oppenheimer is portrayed as a leftist idealist led astray by gradualist compromises here echoing Nolan's previous films. He makes concessions at first for what he believes are pragmatic reasons, only to fatally betray his principles inch by inch. As a young radical, he hosts gatherings of free thinkers and activists in New Mexico, dreaming of a society shaped by shared knowledge and communal values. But as he grows older and more cynical, Oppenheimer suppresses his idealism for security clearances and government money. In the end, he becomes the establishment power he once despised, the cycle of idealism, corrupted that Nolan returns to again and again. 8. Time as Relativity in Storytelling Nolan uses his signature time-shifting narrative style brilliantly here, fracturing the storyline to immerse us in Oppenheimer's disjointed psyche while echoing the physicists' own theories of time as something relative and non-linear. The past, present and future collide as we experience events out of order, yet connected by emotion and rhyming imagery. Just as time folds back on itself at the speed of light according to Einstein's theories, so does Nolan's storytelling. Flashbacks, dream states, even moments that play in reverse all reflect Oppenheimer's Oppenheimer's attempts to unify everything in elegant equations just as the director seeks to unify story threads and themes through unconventional chronology. 9. The Fragility and Insignificance of Humanity Oppenheimer's story also evokes the insignificance of individual human lives in the sweep of scientific forces beyond our control. Nolan conveys a chilling notion that our lives are fragile and temporary against the vast expanse of cosmic time and inevitable scientific progress. The theories Oppenheimer unlocks are infinitesimally small yet disproportionately catastrophic. When the bomb detonates, the fireball dwarfs soldiers standing near it grim reminders of mankind's fragility. Oppenheimer names the test site, to suggest godlike powers of creation and destruction now at man's fingertips, but tragically beyond his ability to fully grasp. 10. The Enduring Relevance of Oppenheimer's Legacy Nolan chooses to tell this 60-year-old story because Oppenheimer's legacy still casts a shadow today. With thousands of warheads poised to annihilate humanity, we continue to face the moral dilemmas Oppenheimer confronted. How do we contain the lethal forces we have unleashed from the Pandora's box of physics? Can scientific knowledge be pursued ethically when so easily weaponized by politics and fear? Does the atomic bomb represent progress or merely our own self-destruction? Oppenheimer leaves these difficult questions unresolved. But by dramatizing this gifted, contradictory man, Nolan reminds us that humanity's future depends on grappling with them openly and honestly. The fires ignited by scientific discovery cannot be unlit, only wisely managed. Christopher Nolan has crafted an epic psychological drama that captures both the greatness and darkness within one of the most transformative figures of the 20th century. Killian Murphy's mesmerizing performance as Oppenheimer takes us on a whirlwind journey from the heights of discovery to the depths of moral catastrophe. Thanks for watching. Let me know your own thoughts on Oppenheimer and Christopher Nolan in the comments below. What did you think of the film's non-linear storytelling, cinematography, and portrayal of this complex man? Which themes and visual motifs stood out to you most? Looking forward to hearing your perspectives. This is me signing off for now. As always, keep thinking critically and loving cinema. See you next time.